it's midnight. It's time for bed. Harriet's just gone. I don't know if we can see her from there. She's gone to bed. She's gone to sleep. I stood up minutes ago and trod on her tail. She was lying right under my feet. Tail under my feet. She doesn't leave me alone. She doesn't. Um, I love it. I do. I like it. But sometimes, you know, it's worrying because she gets um, so close and I can't, I can't, you know, I mean, this thing, I've had to do up half a dozen times tonight because she's had it undone. Uh, I was thinking, you know, um, Chantal, if she's going back to Canada, as she says she is, I mean, she, she's got to leave soon I think she like to Canada or to somewhere else until her, she can renew her visa but if she goes back to Canada or anywhere else what's going to happen to those two animals is Sarah going to look after them um, they're both used well the cats Certainly is getting used to being in a house. The hamster needs to be indoors and safe. So um, I'm just wondering whether Salah is going to have that commitment to take care of them. She is so selfish. She gets the animals and um, knows that she's got to leave. That she's got to go back to Canada or they've got to be going somewhere together, then what, what happens to them? They're expendable to her. They're used as props. Um, as BBJ and Sam were. And then um, discarded, I guess. No matter how many she does. Or she'll be used that she does. Um, nonsense i i don't know about you but the word bees it does have different meanings um bees i've heard it as i was growing up and i can't really remember in what context except that i think it was something to do with alcohol or people going out enjoying themselves and parties, I don't know. I was too young to remember or to think it, it, uh, it was important. But just one of those things, you know, that you recall. Anyway, I thought what I would do is look it up and look it up on the Urban Dictionary. They sometimes have interesting stuff on there. So, beezing, this was left by Little Miss Brat two years ago. Beezing means doing drugs and other illegal substances, lying or doing activities that should not be done as they are illegal risk your health or make you a liar to those around you hmm. acting selfishly in a way that will produce negative outcomes for others uh -huh. and she put we're beating tonight and eating the entire mcdonald's menu so I guess we know who she's talking about. It's the next one. No, this one is by somebody called Chubbyus. Again, left two years ago. Beezing. Beezing involves the consumption of addictive substances. Usually cocaine, meth. Or Dairy Queen's Misty Slush. 
in the presence of emaciated and horrifically deformed Middle Eastern men that the tits and gunt of ham planets that use the tits and gunt of ham planets as punching bags charming beezing behaviours are often associated with neglect of your low functioning autistic roommate in not purchasing his desired muffins and ignoring his cries for help and then shall be used as put Chantal Foodie Beauty was bleeding last night at the trap house we knew something was suspicious when we found bruises on her G-U-N-T. So I guess, guess that was during her being abused phase. It must have been. Um, <laughs> Beast means you've taken far too many drugs and have gone beyond the buzzing phase. So you're beast. Beasting is a verb to describe someone who is misbehaving or acting weirdly. When someone is doing this, they can be referred to as a beezer. Are you beezing, Sam? Don't be beezing, you beezer. Aimed at her again. Bees, short for beezer. Another word for B-I-T-C-H, a derogative term used for females who get around too much. <laughs> what do you want, bees? I'm in the middle of an orgy. Call me back later. No. Those first ones, certainly referred to foodie. Bees, the logical plural of booze, used when you drink so much booze that it has to be pluralised. She nearly passed out after drinking huge gallons, huge gallons. You don't need the huge bit in there, do you? After drinking gall gallons of bees. So there you go. Those are the ones that refer to booty. There's others that don't. So it isn't her word. It's a word that can be used. Anybody can make up a word. Should we make up our own word? My little community. What word can we make up? That'd be a good idea, actually, wouldn't it? Going on this journey, what can we say instead of Anne's journey to health? Anne's journey to health and teeth. And repaired bones. What can we say? I have to think. And uh, maybe you can also. And we can come up with a word. I want to do a live stream. I'm very nervous about doing a live stream. 
because I'm very nervous because of the way I can't get my words out sometimes since these teeth have gone a certain I can't. Um, what do you think? Shall I do a live stream? What do you think? I'll listen if you say. I'll be back tomorrow, everybody. Good night. God bless.